An Idaho representative is speaking out against a health care plan approved by the U.S. House of Representatives. Now she says the plan puts hundreds of thousands of Idahoans at risk. Six on your side's political reporter Marissa Morrison joins us in studio with more. Well, Don Michelle, Representative Alana Rubel was severely burned in a cooking accident in April. She says under the health care plan put forward by the Trump administration, her injuries put the future of her own medical coverage at risk. Representative Alana Rubel was helping her daughter with a school project when a pot of oil caught flame in her kitchen. It just exploded to a flame that was, you know, probably three feet high and it just started pouring burning oil all over me. Rubel suffered burns on about 12% of her body. Skin grafts and a stay in the hospital racked up the medical bills. But I would be shocked if I haven't already hit a million dollars. Rubel has insurance, but says the recent health care bill is concerning to her for multiple reasons. The bill they just passed in the U.S. House of Representatives will effectively strip away any assurance of coverage for pre-existing conditions. And for, I think, 660,000 Idahoans, they would be hit by this. Rubel says the bill also allows insurance companies to create coverage limits. Something goes wrong, you hit those coverage limits in no time, and then you're bankrupt. Then any costs that hit you beyond that, you're covering yourself and you're losing your house. Idaho's politicians don't all agree with Rubel's criticism. Congressional Representative Raul Labrador voted in favor of the bill and defended the legislation at a northern Idaho town hall last week. You know, that, that line is so indefensible. Nobody dies because they don't have access to health care. <laughs> Rubel says she's critical of Idaho's representatives for voting in favor of the bill. They exempted themselves. That should tell us something right there. When Congress exempted themselves from this bill, they sure don't want to live under the effects of what they're inflicting on the rest of us. Representative Labrador has responded to the comments he made at that town hall. He says his answer wasn't very elegant, but criticized the media for not focusing on his entire response to the question. He adds that hospitals are still required to treat people in need of emergency care regardless if they can pay. Reporting live in studio, Marissa Morrison, 6 on your side.